It's been less than two years since Trish reached out to her pastor, Pastor Tim Benjamin, about a desire to be involved in some volunteering at Forest Park United Methodist Church. Neither Pastor Tim nor Trish could have predicted how God was going to lead her life. And not long ago, her efforts were recognized by the entire West Ohio United Methodist Conference. I have a heart for serving and I, that's what I feel like my calling is. Meet Trish McKinney, mother, aunt, full-time employee, friend to many, and now she adds a title no other layperson in Lima has been given before, recipient of the Harry Denman Award from the United Methodist Church. On a beautiful June day at Hoover Auditorium in Lakeside Marblehead, during the 49th session of the United Methodist Church West Ohio Conference, Trish took her seat in the front row, applauding as many churches and individuals before her were honored for achievements from the past year. And then, nearing the close of the awards session, Reverend Dr. Harley Roston of Piketon United Methodist Church and Trish McKinney of Forest Park United Methodist Church in Lima were invited to the stage. In a conference of 58 counties, only one clergy and one layperson is selected each year to receive the honor. This year's lay recipient is Trish McKinney from Lima Forest Park United Methodist Church in the Northwest Plains District. Trish McKinney is the missions chair at Forest Park United Methodist. While this church has been familiar to her since childhood, it's been less than two years since God got a hold of Trish's heart and mind in a new way. I first met Trish, uh, she was just coming through a, a rough season in life, some unfair things had happened and instead of letting it beat her, she decided to let it make her stronger. Uh, she stepped up to the plate and I really don't feel like I did a whole lot except say, hey, why don't we try this? And she ran after it with reckless abandon and it was just been great these last uh, year and a half to watch her grow. Growth for Trish meant first serving on the missions board, next becoming the missions chair, and then branching out further to use her talents in compassion, caring, and love for women in need, and to expand Forest Park's mission outreach in the Lima community. I told her as the chair I wanted her to pick uh, one pet project, and she was kind of debating on a few things, and I said, I got somebody I want to introduce you to. Uh, we went down and met Julianne Frankhauser down at Guiding Light, and then I pretty much got out of the way, and they took it from there and I volunteer there one or two days a week. And I go over there and just kind of do some work around the houses and you know, help the women get to appointments and basically just whatever they need. Serving people, being the hands and feet of Jesus, replicating the work of Harry Denman. Harry Denman was a, a historic figure in United Methodism that uh, was a great evangelist, brought many, many people to Christ. And uh, the, the uh, Council on Evangelism has set this award up for years, and it's a very prestigious award. Each conference in United Methodism is able to give out a clergy award and a lay award. And Trish won that award as the layperson for a work at Forest Park in Linebaum. Trish McKinney didn't volunteer to be recognized. She says the honor is special and she appreciates it, but it's the work she is doing in Lima that keeps her going and knowing God isn't finished with plans for her life. I think really what makes it worth doing is when they actually get on their feet and leave the Guiding Lighthouses and they still keep in touch with me and contact me and let me know how things are going in their life. As Harry Denman once said, Today, the only way we can see Christ is to see him wrapped in a person. We need to become a package of love, a package of faith, a package of Christ. Then we will become a package of evangelism. Congratulations to this year's Henry Denman Evangelism Award recipients. Yes.